78% of my channel are women. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another coffee chat with Dano. Happy Mother's Day to all of our great mothers all around the country and around the world. Thank you so much for being not only part of your own lives with your children and your families, but being a part of our family on this channel as well. So I was diving into my analytics for my channel, and uh, it's actually risen. It was 76%, now 78% women on our channel. Now that could be one of many reasons. One, women like to save money, especially mothers, so I thought this is something we would talk about in today's video. Uh, we are having coffee. Have coffee with us tonight or whatever beverage you deem necessary. It's Mother's Day. Have whatever you want. Sit and hang out with Dano here as we're going to discuss why our channel is 78% women. And like I was saying before, it was 76% for the longest time. It's actually gone up an extra 2%. I think a lot, there, there's many factors in that. I was talking to Jess about this earlier and we do shopping. We do shopping on this channel, and that has, I would say, a lot to do with it. But I think mostly to do with it is women are smart. Women are smart. They like to save money. They like to save money in the grocery store. Most women I know will not overspend on products on food, right? Now, you know, I mean, it's just, for one, I've always looked at it like common sense. I'm not going to overspend on things at the grocery store. Maybe sometimes, you know, in other stores, I might splurge a little and get me a nice shirt, you know, or something like that, or some nice, you know, we save money so that we can have some of the more fun and exciting things in life that we want, right? So as I was looking over the different video analytics and everything that has been over our channel, now, mind you, this is a span over four years. Now, it does range from video to video, depending on what we do. Um, and that does account, I mean, when you think about it, 22% men too, right? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, you know, I'm happy to get everyone in here, right? But at the same time, it's Mother's Day, and this is to celebrate mothers, especially my mother, who will probably be watching this video as well. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and to all the great moms out there. You know, I, I am a person who appreciates life. I appreciate life because I had a I have a wonderful mother that has raised me to be the person I am today. She's raised me to save money. She's raised me to use use my skills of things like my memory and stuff. Most of you know that I have a bit of an eidetic memory. That's how I'm able to remember all these different prices and price comparisons and all this stuff. So um, I know we have a lot of mothers on the channel and, and thank you all for always participating in the channel and the way we do things around here. Uh, this channel, if I had to narrow it down in a few words it, or a couple words, it would be everything shopping. Uh, and I, I am a guy and I love to shop. I do. If you haven't figured that out by now, then, well, <laughs> I don't know. I guess you haven't been watching too hard. But um, I do. I love, you know, Jessica loves going around doing things. Now, you know, it's it's different, you know, when me and Jess go out and do, like, shopping compared to, like, what we do in videos and stuff like that. Because we're trying to be informative and try to save you as much money as we can, right? Um, and I think that is a probably the biggest reason why we have 78% women on our channel. Because like I said before, women are smart, you know? And, and I think, I think, so, I think I know what it is. I, or at least I know some of what it is. Maybe I don't know any of what it is. <laughs> Sounds like a right answer, don't it? Um, but I think, and this is just from my perspective, okay? This is just from what I've noticed over the years. Most guys when they go into a grocery store. Now tell me if this, you know, let's be honest, guys. You know, if this is most guys, you go into a store, you're not too worried about the price. You're not, you're not too, you're just picking up things. I notice this with friends, family, even going in and out of the, out of the grocery stores all the time. I just kind of see guys like not looking at stuff. They're just throwing in the cart. They're not worried about it. Now, I don't judge here. I, no judgment here at all. But I see women, okay? I see women that are, using notepads, taking notes. A lot of women know me from the channel in these grocery stores, always showing me different notes and different things on their phones and stuff. Look how I'm saving here. Look how I'm saving here. I don't ever have any guys come up to me saying this stuff, you know? So not saying that guys don't, I do. I do. I have notes. I have things in my phone. I have things that I'm always trying to find ways to save money. That's just how I am. 
You know, I was raised that way. I was raised to save money in areas so that you can have fun in others. You know, that's how I've always thought about life. That's, you know, it's like when me and Jess need a break, we do some traveling. We do some travel. We travel to Florida. We travel to Tennessee. We got some upcoming adventures coming, which I'm not going to spoil in this video, but pretty exciting stuff on the way. We're going to be doing some fun, entertaining videos for everyone. But anyway, guys, this is just, I uh, wanted to put out this happy Mother's Day message for all of our wonderful mothers on our channel and around the world. Uh, we, we thank you so much for tuning in. And, you know, it's going back to the stores and stuff, I find it amazing, like, the differences between people. Like, I see, I, I see uh, women that are, like I said, have, like, different checklists and stuff like that. If, if a guy has a checklist, it's usually because his wife or girlfriend or significant other gave it to them, right? I mean, I'm the same way. I can't, I mean, now I have my own little list and stuff like that, but just, you know, as she works another job, she always gives me a list to, you know, when I go to the store for the day or if we're doing a video, you know, at Kroger or Walmart or somewhere, you know, and then I constantly while I'm doing the video, I'm always not only getting the best deals out there, but I'm also picking up the stuff that Jess needs for whatever reason. But I don't know. I thought this was a very interesting topic. It's something that me and Jess have talked about for a while. We know the answer, right? Because it is everything shopping. And, you know, and I'm not saying guys out there don't like to shop, but I'm just saying I feel like more women want to shop. For one, you're not having your uh, boyfriend, husband, or significant other uh, going to the store and messing everything up. How many, how does, does that sound familiar, guys? You know, you can never, um, you know, you can't please everybody, but I know that a lot of guys struggle with, uh, you know, it's like, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to think that way because I think in the sense of, oh, I better get the right one or she's going to get upset. I think a lot of guys out there, right, they're like, oh, I'm going to get the Kroger brand of this. You better not. Or or at least do like I do and, and call the missus first before you do to make sure it's okay. If there's anything that I've learned in this life, it is how to say, yes, ma'am. Yes, you are correct. You're right. The only issue we ever have with is what do you want for dinner? Everybody has that issue. I don't care how many times I say whatever you want, and then it's whatever you want. You know, I see a lot of things on Facebook, a lot of Facebook memes and stuff like that, where that's been a common, common everyday argument for couples. And I think it's funny because it's like, you know, we can, everybody gets upset where it's like, well, what do you want? What do you want? I think that that is, is something that makes a relationship strong because you're constantly telling your other your wife or whoever, that I care more about what you want to eat for dinner, right? And then she says in return, well, what do you want? I that, that is like the sign of, well, no, I want what you want. And then you think that's all well and good. And then I name off like 10 different foods that we can cook and none of them are good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of, just kind of rolling it out here today. It's a, it's a common, common argument. I think, uh, says, says more about how much you care about somebody than you may realize. And, you know, as to where, you know, today we are going to visit family. We have, we are tackling a lot of things today. We're celebrating mother's day with Jessica's side of the family, my mother-in-law, happy mother's day to you. Uh, and our sister-in-laws who are both mothers as well. Happy Mother's Day to you. And my mom, we're going to do something tonight. I did run her over some flowers and a nice card this morning, but probably go out to dinner tonight. But beautiful day here in Cincinnati, Ohio. I mean, it's, I just so much appreciation today for everything. With all the doom and gloom and everything going on, I wanted to put a video out here that, that just shows my appreciation for all mothers. All mothers out there, you deserve everything. You deserve everything. And I think I think maybe a lot of guys out there maybe, maybe don't get a, enough credit for, for trying to take care of, of their, their mothers all the time. I, I, I may have said that backwards. What I mean is take care of your mothers today. Take care of your wives who are mothers. Take, and I think this should be more than just a day out of the year. You know, even though Jessica is not a mother, I, I support Jess in everything she does. I always, you know, I always tell her how much I love her and how much I care about her. And, you know, we're always, you know, I, I, I think, 
I, I hope that it's more than a rarity in our relationship for a lot of you out there, because me and Jess do appreciate each other in everything we do, everything we do. And I, I love her as if she was a mother, but I, like I say, you know, I treat, I make sure that I treat her as, as, as like I would want to be treated and more. Right. So really, I don't really know where I was going with this video today. Just wanted to share my appreciation for everybody and how much I appreciate uh, the 78% of all women on our channel. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's awesome. I think that shows, um, I think that shows something very important that, that we have a lot of, of women on the channel that want to save money, but not only save money, you love to shop. You love to shop. Well, you can't just say it's women because it's me too. I love to shop too. I can go in anywhere. I love looking at things, even off camera. You know, there's places that I just absolutely love. I'm going to spill some of those right now for you. Uh, a couple places that I love to shop. I love to shop at Walmart. I know, it sounds crazy. As much as we talk about the food and everything, I love Walmart because for one, it's cheap, right? It's cheap, but they've been getting in good quality clothing. Good quality clothing, fun t-shirts. I got this at Walmart for like 20 bucks. You know, actually, I think it was less than that. I think it was like 18. And, you know, different like fun band t-shirts like ACDC. You can get for like $8. You know, these kind of things. Um, different kinds of like jewelry and stuff. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, you know, Jessica has a line of jewelry stuff. As you guys know, she loves Disney. And they actually have like a Disney line of different jewelry that is very cheap. And you look at it of what it is online for the same thing at some other places, it costs a fortune, right? So it's like, these are things that, you know, I think I love TJ Maxx anyway. I love some of the different, uh, going back to food. I like some of the different, like, uh, fancier, like seasonings and, and stuff that they have at TJ Maxx. Well, actually one of my favorite stores to shop at that I don't shop at as much, usually around the holidays, but probably planning a trip back to there, uh, at some point. Some shops that, uh, my family's been discussing lately have been places like JCPenney. JCPenney has had some pretty enormous deals going around lately. And that's like top clothing line where I, I looked online the other day and, uh, they were right. There's some really good deals going on where you can get maybe some, you know, some clothing that you maybe wouldn't buy for a regular price. I've seen some things half off. Might actually be going there this week to check out some things. Some of my family are going there. Uh, JC Penny and Macy's like that. Probably check out JC Penny. I did a video on Macy's and it was kind of hit or miss, you know. It's and I think most of these stores are because they can get really expensive. But if you seek out the deals and you seek out the coupons, which I'm sure a lot of you ladies out there know where they are. And see, this is where I could use help because, um, you know, I, as to where I know what I can find online, there's other deals that like my mom and Jess and, and my cousins, they, they all find these different deals. Like, where do you find these? Like, you know, they're either part of a, of a online app or club or something. And it's like, they, they find these deals and I'm just thinking, man, I would have bought that nice dress shirt for $10, you know, <laughs> instead of 50, you know, but Anyway, uh, just kind of going into like, you know, because every everything on our channel really um, is around shopping and entertainment. I'd say for a lot of our like entertaining videos, like when we go to like Gatlinburg or, you know, anywhere in Tennessee or Kings Island Amusement Park, Cincinnati Zoo. Yeah, it's probably an even amount. I, I need to check on a video to video basis, but I would assume it's it's more of an even amount between guys and gals. So, um, and guys, I'm not forgetting about you guys either, but this one's for the ladies because it is Mother's Day. And again, showing my appreciation for all the mothers out there. I have a lot of appreciation for life in general. Um, I really, I enjoy every day. I enjoy every day. I do this as my full-time job. Uh, and, you know, it, it's fun going to these different stores and showing all the different prices and ways that I'm saving money and just trying to pass some of that information off to you guys as well. You know, it's it's a lot of fun uh, going through, seeing new things, you know, and, and I, I like seeing everything. I like the toys. I like the, the garden stuff. I like the outdoor stuff. I like the camping, fishing, these kind of things. I know we focus mostly on food on an everyday basis, but there's been a food crisis going around. You know, we have some places that are coming out saying that they're going to save us money. You know, um, I just did a video where we talk about 250 products 
that are going to be coming down at Aldi. Some of them, you know, they gave a list of some of them and there was like 10 on this list. And it's like, well, if everything's only going to be like five or 10 cents, that's not really saving too much. Um, but I think Aldi over the summer is going to have some pretty good deals, pretty good deals on food. But don't forget to check out some of the Aldi finds deals. Those things are awesome. I need to do like an update because they come out with new ones like every month. Um, but yeah, we're going to be checking out some different stores, different things, other ways to save. But, you know, just looking at some other things too. We get comments on some different products that they don't sell at some of the stores that we visited, that we visit on a regular basis. So I'm going to be seeking out those products as well, um, just to see, you know, some of them may be expensive. But you know what? Some people aren't worried about the price. If you, you know, you work hard. You work hard. If you want something in life, like I said, no judgment here, buy it. I mean, people say, you know, they splurge on these different food products and stuff in the stores when I'm talking about them, how expensive they are. Well, that's just me saying that. That's just me saying how expensive they are. And it's like, as to where I may not buy it, that's not to say that you shouldn't, right? You work hard. You, you, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are working two jobs now. Enjoy yourself. Uh, somebody had mentioned those little ice cream bars, the Stroop waffle things that I said were way too high for four of them at Aldi for $4.99. I'm going to try them next time because one of our longtime viewers said that you, that you splurged on it and then it was one of the tastiest ice cream sandwiches you've ever had. Better believe next time I go, I'm going to splurge. I'm going to spend $5 on four of those little ice cream sandwiches and I'm going to try them. And I, I don't know. They, they did look really good. They did look really good. But, you know, we're kind of the same way. It's like if there's something we want... We get it, right? We work hard. We work hard. Jessica works hard. I work hard. I work every day. I put these videos out every day, you know, because it's it's what I do. I have to stay busy. I'm a I'm a <laughs> I, I I'm a workaholic. I really am. I, I was trying to like sugarcoat that in some way, but no, I'm a workaholic. I put videos. I am a everyday YouTube vlogger. No matter what it is. I try to put it out here, one or two videos. Uh, yes, definitely not a coffee rant today, but it is a coffee chat as I'm not ranting about anything. Rant, ranting about how much I appreciate all the mothers out there. Guys, moms deserve it more than anybody else. Look at what they have gone through. And this is for the guys listening right now. Take care of your mothers. Take care of your wives who are who are mothers to your children. You know, uh, all mothers out there deserve to be treated awesomely. Awesomely. That's a good word. Um, but, you know, look at what they've gone through. I look at what my mom went through when me and my brother were younger. Me and my brother were a handful. We really were. My brother's a lot like me. Maybe, you know, 50, 60 pounds thinner. Um, <laughs> he works out. A lot harder than I do. I've been working on pushbacks. I push push the plate back away from me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But, you know, she went through a lot. She went through a lot. I mean, when we were younger, but she taught me a lot of things. She taught me uh, about, you know, saving, saving money, making sure that you don't overpay for things. It's it, You can really learn a lot from my mom's generation uh, because they went through things where it, it was similar to things of today. Maybe not on a grander scale. People get paid more, but we're paying more. We're paying more for things. Look at what houses cost today. Look at what cars cost today. I mean, it is outrageous. It is outrageous. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I'll save that for another video, but it's just my mom was amazing and she took part she was like the neighborhood mom uh she's she's mom to a lot of my different friends all of my friends pretty much growing up uh she was the house she was the house that everybody came to all our friends came to we hung out mom loved it because she knew we were all safe there in her household and all of all of my friends parents loved my mom as well and we would all play games. You know, we would have fun. She would take part. Everybody enjoyed my mom being around uh, everybody and having fun with everybody. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we were just talking the other day. And I need to, you know, at mine and Jessica's wedding, um, you know, all my all my great friends were there. And we have a photo of all my friends and everything. And every time my mom sees that picture, she says, all my boys. And it just, you know, it's... it's um, it was an amazing time. I had a I had a great life growing up. Uh, she's an amazing person, and she deserves everything. She deserves everything, and you know, um, 
she she's always been there. She's always been there for me and my friends and family. She is someone that is uh, a very special person. And I feel like I have gotten a lot of that from her over the years. And, and I owe her everything. And she is um, the one that has really given me strength to be able to endure what I do. To remember that what I'm doing on our channel is, is providing people, is helping people. Helping people, whether that's at the grocery store or for entertainment, right? Because, you know, me and Jessica want to do some more entertaining videos as well. Travels, different travels. Maybe travel looking at some other different stores that we don't have around here. And I really want to get out to Giant Eagle. I really want to check out a Piggly Wiggly. I'd like to go out west and check out Food for Less. You know, it's like all these stores that all of our different viewers shop at from all around the country and around the world. We want to visit these too. We want to visit these too. Um, now, you know, it's harder to do that because Jessica, you know, has her job here. But maybe someday, maybe someday me and Jess can do this together and then we can travel and maybe do this uh, together and be full force adventures with Dan and Jess. Guys, ladies, happy Mother's Day. I hope you sh are showing a lot of appreciation for your mothers today. Um, let's not forget our, our heavenly mothers, Mother's Day for all of those whose mothers have passed, let's remember them as well, um, and, and just appreciate uh, appreciate them while while we are together. Happy Mother's Day to all, all the great mothers out there! Thank you so much for watching my my very long message here, but wanted to sit and chat about again my appreciation for everyone, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night.